Hi, welcome back to the good, the bad, and the tarot. If during your um, energy mineral selection, you chose this gorgeous red quartz, um, I believe this is a polished uh, ruby aura quartz stone, then congratulations because it's truly an amazing colored stone. And some of the energy properties and associations with this color energy and this particular stone are stimulating, excites nervous system, antidepressant, can stimulate appetites, warmth, energy, assertiveness, aggression, masculinity, independence, sports, competition, conflict, potency, passion, passionate love, romance, danger, revolution, war, and yang. Now, with regards to red crystal healing, um, this tiny little stone has the power to fight fatigue, fight fatigue, colds, chills, um, help with blood circulation, energizing the senses, stimulate ovulation, stimulate menstruation, stimulate growth, adrenal activity, raising the body temperature, anemia, easing stiffness, alleviating constrictions, aiding in physical strength, helping the spine, feet, hips, and legs. Now, um, Excessive red can be overstimulating and cause irritability, but it can also stimulate the cell growth. Therefore, it is not recommended by some for cancer treatment. Um, also, it is related to the fire element and the root chakra. Let's see, I'll read you some information about the root chakra. The Sanskrit name of the first chakra, the root base chakra, is Muldahara. This energy center is related primarily to existence, manifestation, physical well-being, survival, and security. So this would be a root chakra stone um, and available to help you in all of the capacities that I just mentioned, including um, energy stimulation, um, manifestation, and physical well-being in terms of your survival and security instincts. Now, the card that I did pull for this, the Oracle card is called Homeland. Let me read you the meaning of this card. Arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, and settled. There is wisdom in the homelands. There is part of you that belongs there and part of you that needs to reconnect at a deep level. Traditions or ancient practices or simple things like recipes, ways of doing day-to-day -day activities will come to you now. Incorporate them into your life and there will be a deep sense of being home, wherever you are, because all the parts of your own self are within you, acknowledged, known and expressed in healthy ways. Find a place you can call home. Settle somewhere for a time and make some commitments to the place you belong. You are part of it. It is part of you and you cannot separate from it without separating from a part of your own soul, your own deep self. It is a time to journey and explore. There is a time for adventure and uncertainty. There is a time to be a stranger, the foreigner, the one who does not come from that place. And then there is a time to go home. Home is not, as so many of you have taught and thought, a heaven. It is not the space that exists after death. It is a place on this earth, and it is the place of your blood and your bone, and where you would swim to now, if you had the endurance of our friends, the great blue whales. So, I'm not 
not exactly sure that this card is connecting for me with this stone. Nevertheless, um, I did pull the card. Um, and most of the minerals that I did pull resonated fairly well with the Oracle cards. I would say this one perhaps not so much. However, um, the properties and energy healing principles that I just mentioned for um, this red crystal or this um, ruby aura quartz polished stone still remain true. So I highly advocate um, buying one of these stones or um, collecting um, red colored glass stones or red colored quartz to aid in some of the principles that I just mentioned. So thank you for joining me and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks.